Hi, I'm Steve. Um, you know, as we are probably aware, there are a whole bunch of flat earthers out there who believe crazy stuff about the earth being flat. There are an even crazier bunch who believe that the earth is hollow and that we walk around on the inside of the earth with this tiny little sun in the middle. How do you know it's not true? Well, um, a long while back, the Russians tried drilling a very deep borehole just to sample material from deep under the earth. And uh, they got down about six kilometers after decades of drilling. Um, eventually gave up because the drill bits were melting. But six kilometers is nowhere near enough. I mean, the earth at its thinnest point, the crust at its thinnest point is about 12 kilometers. So that's not gonna work. We actually figure this out using earthquakes and seismometers. So when an earthquake goes off, it obviously shakes the ground and a seismometer somewhere else in the other part of the earth can pick that up. But there are actually two kinds of, of wave that come off of a, an earthquake. There's what they call a P wave, which is like an ocean wave that does that. And an S wave, which is a compressive wave that does this, um, kind of like a sound wave does. And an interesting fact is that these S waves don't like going through liquids. They can only vibrate through solids. So when an S wave from an earthquake heads down and hits the Earth's core, which is a liquid, it gets blocked. So if you set up earthquake, uh, seismometers around the world, you can see kind of like a shadow of the Earth's core where the S waves don't appear and the P waves do. And you can use the timings of the waves and various other things to get more subtle information. But basically that's how we know the Earth has a liquid center and isn't hollow. Um, but how about the moon? Well, during the Apollo 11 landings, they left a seismometer on the moon, a pretty good one actually. And um, on the return back to Earth, they launched the ascent stage of the, the lander up to orbit. Astronauts came out, got into the command module and headed home, leaving the um, ascent stage behind. The ascent stage was then propelled downwards to hit the moon really hard. And that caused nice earthquakey things a seismometer could pick up. And lo and behold, they got P waves like that. And they also got S waves, which weren't blocked by the moon's core, which means the moon doesn't have a liquid center. It's solid all the way through. Isn't that interesting?